بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين This is section 3.3 Derivatives of Trigonometric Functions Well, the trigonometric functions, if you remember, are six functions, sine and cosine. Uh, the reciprocal of sine is cosecant. The reciprocal of cosine is secant. Tan is sine over cosine. And the reciprocal of tan is cotan. This is the definition if we are in uh, a right a triangle. Uh, sine is the opposite side over hypotenuse and so on. Uh, when when the angle is anywhere in standard position, the initial side is on the x-axis and the terminal side is anywhere, and we take a point x, y on the terminal side of uh, the angle, then uh, the six trigonometric functions are defined like this. Uh, if R is 1, R is the radius, R is the radius from the point to the center, uh, to, the, the, to the 0, 0, to the origin. Uh, then X would be cosine theta, and Y is sine theta because R is 1. So we any point on the unit circle, X is cosine theta, and Y is sine theta. These are some famous angles, pi over 4, pi over 6, pi over 3. And uh, all the six trigonometric functions are, uh, are positive in the first quadrant. Uh, only sine is positive in the second. Sine and its reciprocal cosecant. Tan and cotan are positive in the third quadrant. Cosine and secant are positive in the fourth quadrant. These are the identities between sine and cosine sine square plus cosine square is is one sine negative theta is negative sine theta cosine negative theta is cosine theta sine and cosine uh, sine theta plus 2 pi is sine theta and cosine theta plus 2 pi is cosine theta and these are some identities also for sine x plus y sine x minus y and sine 2x 2 sine x cosine x cosine 2x cosine square minus sine square and this is the graph of sine graph of cosine and the graph of tan so this is a review for the six trigonometric functions of theta and today we we talk about the derivatives of the trigonometric functions so the derivative of sine is cosine the derivative of cosine is negative sine the derivative of tan is secant square the derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant cotan, and the derivative of secant is secant tan, and the derivative of cotan is negative cosecant square. Of course, we can uh, prove uh, the derivative of sine and the derivative of cosine. This needs proof. Uh, all the others can be found easily uh, using the quotient rule. Uh, for example, the derivative of tan, you can write tan as sine x over x, and use the quotient rule to find the derivative of tan. Also cosecant, you can write it 1 over sine and use the quotient rule to find the derivative. So, for example here, differentiate y equals x squared times sine x. Well, if you look to y, uh, you have product of two functions, so you need to use the product formula. Uh, the product formula says the derivative of f times g is the derivative of f times g plus the derivative of g times f so y prime here would be the derivative of x square is 2x times sine x plus x square times the derivative of sine x which is cosine x so this is y prime differentiate uh, this function well, uh, we can see that we have a fraction, so we need to use the quotient rule. And the quotient rule says the derivative of f over g is g squared in the denominator, f prime times g minus f times g prime in the numerator. So f prime of x here would be 1 plus 
tan x all square and then the derivative of secant x is secant x tan x times the derivative of the numerator times the denominator which is 1 plus tan x and whenever you have two terms you need to open parentheses minus now the derivative uh, of 1 plus tan x derivative of 1 is 0 derivative of tan is secant square times the numerator which is secant x let us try to uh, simplify as usual now secant tan times 1 is secant x times tan x plus secant x tan times tan is tan square x minus secant cube x over uh, 1 plus tan x all square well I can take secant as a common factor from the numerator so I have tan x plus tan square x minus secant square x the relation between tan x tan square and secant square is a tan square x plus 1 equals secant square x so you can see that tan square minus secant square would be negative 1 if you take secant square to this side one will go to that side so tan square <coughs> this tan square minus secant square would be negative 1 so the final answer would be secant x times tan x minus 1 over 1 plus tan x to the power 2 and this would be the simplest form now uh, two special trigonometric limits limit sine theta over theta when theta approach 0 approaches 0 is 1 okay and limit cosine theta minus 1 over theta when theta approaches 0 is 0 uh, we need to understand these formulas of course also we can prove them but we will learn a, a bit uh, an easier proof when we talk about L'Hopital's theorem if you replace theta by 0 you get sine 0 which is 0 over 0 here so there is nothing really you can do you need you need the proof or you can use L'Hopital's theorem later to prove it also here you will get 0 over 0 so now we will use these two values and uh, sometimes he will ask about limit theta over sine theta, uh, which is the reciprocal of this. So it would be uh, 1 over this one. So 1 over 1, so it would be also 1. So you can always also use this fact, okay? And also you can prove easily that limit tan theta over theta would be also one like sine theta so theta over tan theta would be also one now how to solve a question like this what is limit sine 7 x over 4 x when x approaches zero so the method is now we need to use this formula and this formula says uh, if theta <coughs> if we have theta here theta here uh, then the result is one so i have sine 7 x over 4 x I can take this 1 over 4 out and I can have it like this, okay? And then I need 7 here, so the two angles would be the same. So I multiply by 7 here and 7 in the numerator. So 7 over 7 is 1, I did not do anything. So now this 7, 4 can be taken out and I can write here limit when x goes to 0 I can write that limit 7x also goes to 0 so now uh, 7x could be 
theta. I have seven x everywhere. That's similar to theta in the formula. So this limit would be one. So the answer is seven over four times one, and the limit is seven over four. Here, limit cosine theta minus one over sine theta. Remember, cosine theta over theta is zero when, when theta approaches zero. So uh, if you replace theta by zero, you will have zero over zero. So what you can do here is to divide by theta, divide the numerator by theta and the denominator by theta. And you can do that because theta over theta is, is one. So now you can take the limit up and down. So you will have the limit cosine theta minus one over theta when theta approaches zero over limit sine theta over theta when theta approaches zero. And limit of cosine theta minus one is just zero. Limit of sine theta over theta is one. So zero over one and the limit will be equal to zero. This is the end of the section. Uh, thank you very much and see you in the exercises.